Uh, I'm joined by Mr. A.K. Jindal, who is Head of Engineering Commercial Vehicle for India's largest automakers, Y Value. Sir, what are the latest mega trends in commercial vehicle segment when it comes to engineering? Mm -hmm. So, as far as mega trends are concerned, there are three, four major mega trends. One is, of course, in terms of total cost of ownership, minimizing the total cost of ownership. The second is about the safety. How the truck is the how tr how the truck can be more safer, free from accidents, and the third is about the connectivity. How the truck uh, truck is connected in the ecosystem. So these are the three major mega trends as we see it. So, uh, in terms of engine, what are the you know uh, for what are the steps are you taking at a low cost? How can we decrease the operating cost for you know uh, operators? On the engine side, there are a couple of things which we are taking. One is, of course, optimizing the engine which we use for delivering particular performance, depending on the market in which these trucks are operated. So, which will mean that for the right power, we will choose the right size of the engine. Uh, the other is uh, we are spending a lot of time in time in optimizing the matching of the engine to the drivetrain so that we can make the engine run at the right optimum point, minimum BSFC point, so that it can deliver the best fuel efficiency. The third, of course, is uh, the engines are being optimized to meet the emission regulations as demanded by the regulations for each country wherever we are exporting. So there also we are focusing on selecting those technologies which gives the better fuel economy and low cost, of course, and at the same time deliver more reliable operation throughout its lifetime. Uh, could you give us some specific examples of the technology that you have introduced of late? Uh, there are many. I think uh, from a, if I start from the durability and reliability point of view, we have used uh, the for the basic uh, chassis, the high, high strength steels, which has never been used in the country. We are using the, uh, the uh, axles as well as the front axle, rear axle with the uh, latest technology in terms of bearings, in terms of the basic design, the whole parts and uh, systems have been designed which can give the latest, uh, the best in class uh, reliability as well as do. How, how are you doing light weighting? Because that is one of the mega trends uh, that re increases fuel efficiency. What are the measures are you taking for that? I think, uh, as I said, uh, we are using uh, wherever possible using the high strength steels. With, with which you can still achieve the uh, performance, load carrying capability, but using uh, smaller sections so that you can improve, reduce the weight. We have used a lot of uh, composites in this. As you can see, this is the front panel is made of composite. Even the bumpers are made of composites. The side uh, set, uh, fixed windows, they are all made in composites. So a lot of places we have used composites so that we can keep the weight down. So how, uh, in, in terms of production process, how have, what are the measures you are taking to increase the efficiency at the shop floor level? Again, in the, in the manufacturing process also, we have adopted the technology uh, so that it is easier to manufacture, uses minimum number of parts and uh, has the lesser number of parts so that it is more easier and uh, uh, e easier and as well as less expensive to assemble. What on the, uh, we have seen uh, recent uh, trends that uh, heavier meters are being replaced. So apart from these bumpers, is there another part where you have uh, replaced heavier metal with a uh, lighter one? As of now, we are uh, exploring those areas where we can use even the structural components in this. But in heavy commercial vehicles, I think they will take some more time to before they can mature and can be started using. Today we are using these composites mainly in the areas where they are not really carrying the load but they are functional parts but they don't carry the load because as you know in India particularly all the trucks as uh, they tend to be stretched in terms of loading so we have to be taking a, we have to take a very 
sort of judicious decision before we start using the composites in those places. In low flood buses which you have in Delhi reported a lot of uh, issue in terms of fire and all. Uh, what was the reason and how they have been resolved? I think uh, the proof which you know, maybe yes, in the beginning we had a uh, few one or two incidences uh, that we identified very quickly that they were not really any fundamental issues in the design but the way these were vehicles were being used they were getting hit from the sides which uh, resulted into short, short circuiting of certain lamps which we had fitted so they were putting a lot of stress on the fuses so once we identified that problem we resolved that problem we have been we had no issue that as we went ahead in this uh, journey. We are talking about uh, uh, Tata Motors bringing AMT kind of solution in trucks and buses. How, what is this uh, technology? Is it really AMT or it's a slighter different technology that you are introducing? In? This is similar to what uh, usually it is called as automated manual transmissions. So this is what we are developing with our partners, uh, supplier partners. And uh, as you rightly know, you, you have already known that we will be introducing them in buses and as we go forward, maybe even in trucks also. So how does this, uh, you know, AMT works in, uh, you know, in uh, bus and trucks? Is it similar as it works in cars? Fundamentally, principle is same. Uh, but in cars, probably they, the way they are operated is uh, slightly different because in cars they are operated hydraulically, whereas in trucks they are operated pneumatically. But the fundamental principles are same, of course, the, when you handle this uh, larger engine talks, uh, so there are fine tweaking which you have to do, but fundamental principle is similar. So by what time we will have a product with AMT? I think by, uh, say, third quarter of this year, we should have buses running with AMT in the field. That will be city buses or long distance? As of now, city buses. Okay, that will have. Okay, so will it uh, have impact on the pricing also or it will come at the same uh, competitive price? No, what we are, in fact, that is what we aimed at from right from the day one, that these, uh, this should come at a right price because we can't have the price what is, uh, what is being, uh, say, charged in the international market. So that is why I said that we developed ourselves along with our partners so that the cost is optimized. Who is your partner? Is it Schaeffler? No. Who is supplying? Wapco will be supplying. Okay. Thank you so much.